Well, this report draws on years of analysis and research by Amnesty International, a UK-based global human rights organisation, and essentially makes the case that Israel's treatment of Palestinians amounts to a system of apartheid. Over more than 200 pages, Amnesty lays out the ways in which it says the Israeli state uses laws and policies to segregate and control Palestinian people, both inside Israel's boundaries and in the occupied West Bank and Gaza Strip. Now, according to the report, those Israeli policies are things like the seizure of Palestinian land and property, the denial of Palestinians to equal status as Israeli Jews, the demolition of Palestinian homes, the restriction on Palestinians' movement, the denial of Palestinians' economic and social rights, among other things. Now, for many, the word apartheid will invoke the system in South Africa of institutionalised racial segregation that began in the 1940s uh, that essentially saw a white minority rule over a black majority. But since then, apartheid has been defined in international law as a crime in things like the Apartheid Convention or the Rome Statute, though it's never really been tested in any court. But the report isn't making a comparison between Israel and South Africa. Instead, it's saying Israel is enforcing a system of oppression and domination on Palestinians that adds up to apartheid in that international legal framework. Israel's response to Amnesty's report has been swift and critical, uh, even before the report was publicly released on Tuesday, dismissing it as anti-Semitic, uh, false and biased. In the past, Amnesty was a respected organization. Not anymore. Today it is precisely the opposite. It isn't a human rights organization, but just another radical organization which echoes propaganda without seriously checking the facts. Instead of seeking the truth, Amnesty echoes the same lies shared by terrorist organizations. I should note that Amnesty International isn't the first rights organization to make this determination of apartheid uh, in reference to Israel's treatment of Palestinians. Last year, Human Rights Watch released a report arriving at a very similar finding, and Amnesty's report also builds on years of work by many Palestinian and Israeli organisations that have made the same determination. So in recent years, the claim that Israel's enforcing a system of apartheid on Palestinians has slowly become more widely used, and there's no reason to believe that that won't continue into the future.